Manufacturers of hypercars and Bugatti both exist. A company that has come to represent luxury, quickness, and price. In its portfolio, Bugatti can brag about having numerous world record-setting vehicles. Cars that not only drip with incredible horsepower but also exude class from every panel. These aren't just cars, though. They are functional pieces of art for certain people. They are financial investments to others. However, gearheads like them for their flawless handling, incredible speed, and exquisite craftsmanship. The majority of fans will be delighted to catch a sight of a Bugatti, let alone get inside or operate one remaining beyond the means of the typical vehicle enthusiast. Bugatti's creations are dream machines, and these are the 10 most expensive Bugattis in the world. Before starting, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. So let's start. Number 10. The Bugatti EB110. The Bugatti EB110 is reminiscent of a bygone era when supercars were a luxury item. Only a select few producers could take pride in their works, and Bugatti was one of them. Fantastically designed, it still has a very futuristic appearance despite having been introduced in 1991. For the period, both strength and speed were amazing. The V12 engine in the 3.5-liter, 60-valve EB110 produced 553 horsepower an engine with 12 different throttle bodies and 4 turbochargers. It had a 3.3-second 0 to 60 miles per hour time and a top speed of 213 miles per hour. The Bugatti EB110 costs approximately $800,000. Number 9. The Bugatti Veyron Super Sport. The Super Sport was a more refined version of the Bugatti Veyron and was limited to 30 vehicles. It was the quickest street legal production automobile at the time of its debut. Being manufacturer limited to a top speed of 258 miles per hour supports the assertion a number that thrills gearheads even today. The Super Sport produced amazing performance with an increase in horsepower and torque of 1,106 pounds over standard. In under 2.4 seconds, the car's 8.0-liter quad-turbo W12 engine propelled it to 60 miles per hour. It was capable of reaching 200 miles per hour in an astounding 22 seconds. The price of the Bugatti Veyron Super Sport was about $240,000. This Supersport, which is located in the UK, has interior leather that is black and orange and clearly shows carbon fiber. The center mesh has a mirror finish, blue brake calipers, black gas and oil filler caps, and black painted wheels with polished surfaces or optional extras. Number 8. The Bugatti Chiron Supersport 300. The Chiron SS 300 is both a beauty and a beast, according to Bugatti a swift and gorgeous looking vehicle. There are just 30 Chiron Super Sport 300 models total. Power raised to incredible levels while keeping the excellent 8.0-liter W16 engine. The monstrous Bugatti can produce 1,180 pounds of torque and 1,580 horsepower, which will completely destroy a stopwatch. Only 2.2 seconds are needed for the 0 to 60 miles per hour run. While it will take 8.8 .8 seconds to reach 150 miles per hour. The Chiron SS300 can accelerate past its factory installed limiter at 272 miles per hour and reach 303 miles per hour. The cost of the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport 300 is approximately $3,900,000. Number 7. The 2024 Bugatti Mistral Roadster. A time is over with the gorgeous Bugatti Mistral Roadster. It will be the final time the magnificent 8.0 liter W16 engine is used. What an appropriate farewell to the power plant it is as well. 99 Mistral Roadsters will be produced in a small quantity. Each has already sold. The statistics are mind-blowing as usual. 1,578 horsepower is a respectable amount of power. The Mistral can attempt to overtake the quickest roadster in the world thanks to this mountain of power. As a result, even at 261 miles per hour, every dial inside the Mistral is still readable excellent achievement. The price of the 2024 Bugatti Mistral Roadster was approximately $5 million. Number 6. The Bugatti Devo. The Bugatti Devo is a weapon that is much more track-focused and looks for corners. One of such vehicles that justifies its price tag is the Bugatti Devo. With its 1,500 horsepower and speed, it is a work of art on wheels that causes us to re-evaluate the laws of physics. Additionally, it is based on the Bugatti Chiron model impressive aerodynamic upgrades to secure it to the pavement. The car's rear is dominated by a 1.8-meter-wide wing. Each intake, scoop, and duct has a distinct function. 
A Devo can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.4 seconds and has 1,479 horsepower and 1,180 pound-feet of torque. Sound deadening was removed, and carbon fiber components were used in crucial locations to keep the Devo light. Sharp handling is provided by a strong suspension setup and improved dampers. The cost of the Bugatti Devo is about $5,400,000. The Devo's more contemporary design aesthetic produces a vehicle with a much higher peak speed than previous Bugatti models. Number 5. The Bugatti 1932 Type 55 Super Sport Roadster. The crowds at the 1931 Paris Motor Show were awed by Bugatti. Only 16 examples of the Type 55 Roadster were ultimately produced. For its time, it was a mechanically sophisticated vehicle. The Type 55 SS offered remarkable performance at the time and had a distinctive look. Its long bonnet concealed a unique power plant. It produced between 130 and 160 horsepower from a 2.3-liter straight 8 with a supercharger. The stunning Type 55 SS could accelerate to 60 miles per hour in under 12 seconds. It would also accelerate to a thrilling 114 miles per hour if given enough room. Priced at almost $7 million, the Bugatti 1932 Type 55 Super Sport Roadster is a sports car. Number 4. The Bugatti 1937 Type 57 S. The Bugatti Type 57 S is a moving work of art and one of the most beautiful cars ever made. It is an ode of grace to the Bugatti badge and is proportioned correctly. The lowered version of the normal automobile is the 57 S and required significant adjustments to finish. Power also grew in importance. 135 horsepower 3.3 liter inline 8 engine. Customers would send in their vehicles for an update at Bugatti. Once installed, a root supercharger would increase power to about 200 horsepower enhancing performance in a much needed manner. There were just 42 Type 57 S's made in total. The cost of the Bugatti 1937 Type 57 S is approximately $10 million. Number 3. The Bugatti Lavoiter Nore. A really dangerous equipment. A unique hypercar built on the Chiron is called the Bugatti Lavoiter Nor. The Lavoiture Nore is more focused on grand touring and is wider and longer than the vehicle it replaces. However, it still has 1,180 pounds of torque and close to 1,500 horsepower available. At the time, it was listed as the most costly new vehicle on the market. A lost Type 57 is honored in the Bugatti Le Voiture Nord, a custom design that embodies the Bugatti spirit. The Le Voiture Nore pays stunning homage to the original, from the front grille to the sweeping tail. The cost of the Bugatti Le Voiture Nore is about $12 million. Number 2. The Bugatti Cento Dieci. Cento Dieci is a celebration of Bugatti's 110th birthday and a tribute to the iconic EB 110, the company's first 110-year-old sports vehicle. The Cento Dieci is one of Bugatti's most expensive models ever. It is based on the Chiron but is lighter and has a redesigned body. At Bugatti's factory in Molsheim, Alsace, only 10 automobiles were produced, all by hand. There is room for one of the tens in Bons and Chablais, France. The Bugatti Cento Dieci is bespoke, and to say so is an understatement. It takes 16 weeks to make just the interior. A dedication to the first EB 110. This special edition car is powerful, elegant, and swift. There are just 10 Cento Dieci instances, a toy for the super rich. The Cento Dieci shares similar stats with the Chiron thanks to its running gear and engine. Accordingly, it will accelerate to 60 miles per hour in 2.3 seconds. Traction is amazing, supported by a clever AWD system even with 1,479 horsepower in full capacity let out into the wild. The cost of the Bugatti Cento Dieci is approximately $14 million. Number 1. The Missing Bugatti 1936 57SC Atlantic. Perhaps awkwardly, the Bugatti 1936 57SC Atlantic. However, it has excellent teardrop style, a great engine, and oozes exclusivity. It holds the distinction of being the very first supercar to be produced. There are only three. An extremely sought-after automotive gem is a fourth model. There are three customer automobiles, the last of which is owned by Jean Bugatti. It was known as Le Voiture Nord and was used for advertising and auto shows. Then, just before the Second World War, it vanished. It was probably concealed to avoid the approaching invasion because it was never seen again. 
Around $130,000 is spent on the missing Bugatti 1936-57SC Atlantic. This is it for today's video. What do you think of our video? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Thanks for watching.